Blitz. I'm Michael. I'm going to be your trainer today for our first online circus class for kids. So uh, just to go over some of the things that we're going to be going through today, uh, we're going to do a bit of a warm up. So I hope you've got a little bit of space that you can run around and jump in. We're going to do a bit of a stretch, a bit of a yoga style one. Um, then we're going to do some work on handstands and then some tumbling shapes. Then we're going to have a bit of a juggle and then a stretch. So I hope you've got something you can juggle. So um, I've got some juggling balls, but if you haven't got any juggling balls at home, you can uh, use other objects. A nice easy one that I think most people can have is some socks. So you'll be able to juggle with those. Um, yeah, so you could have some socks to juggle with. Okay, now I just want to uh, remind everyone that you can watch this live. So this is happening at 3 p.m. on Tuesday, the 31st of Tuesday. Or if you go to the Circus Hub website, you can download this after. So if you don't get a chance to do it now, uh, you might be watching this later. Um, cool. All right, so... Um, Let's get warm up. So we are going to do some running on the spot. And then I want you to go nice high knees. As high as you can, high as you can. And then I want you to kick your high knees. So running, running, running. Kick your high knees. And then high knees at the front, high knees at the front. And then high knees. And then we're going to do five star jumps. So one, two, three. Four, five, and running again, running, running, running. And then we're gonna reach down and touch the ground and jump. 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 And, jump. and running again. Trying to get nice and warm. High knees. And kick your high knee. And then we're gonna do five tuck jumps, everyone. Hands up, and we're going to jump our knees up to our chest, okay? So we're going to do five of those. You can try and do them with me, or do them in your own time. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five. All right, and then a bit more of a run. See how fast you can go. As fast as you can go faster. I think you can go faster. Run, catch your breath. And then five more star jumps. One, two, three, four, five, and five more tuck jumps. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five. All right, now hopefully, if you've gone as hard as me, you're all going to be feeling a little bit puffed now. So that's great work. Now we're going to do a little bit of a stretch to make sure that we're all nice and warmed up for everything else we're going to do today. So we're going to do a little bit of a yoga style warm up, so a stretch. So I'm just going to stand up for a moment. I just want you to reach up high, take a deep breath in, then we're going to roll down. So you can take a few breaths here, you can just hang out, try and follow along when I move on. So every time you take a breath in, try and let yourself go down a little bit further. So breathe in, and out, in, and out. We're going to put our hands down, step one foot behind us, and come up. Oh, I'm just going to adjust that a little bit. We're going to come into a lunge. Okay, and then I'm going to hold that for about five seconds. So one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to reach down, hands down, and we're going to stick our bottoms high in the air, push through our shoulders, and then we're going to step forward on our other leg. Try a lunge on this side. So we want our knee over our foot and our back leg straight. 
We'll hold that for a little bit, take a nice deep breath. And then we'll reach back down and do our down face dog again. And this time, we're going to try and really push our shoulders towards our knees. And then walk our feet towards the ground. And then we'll come into a plank. So we want to make sure our shoulders are over our hands. And pushing up to our back. And then down onto our knees. Come back a little bit. Let's just angle that down a little bit. Pushing into our shoulders, trying to get our shoulders nice and warm. Scoop our chin along the ground. Coming up into a nice little cobra. So we're trying to keep our neck nice and long so we keep our shoulders down. We go and we can look round for our foot on one side, look round for our foot on the other side. Wiggling into our back. Alright, and then we're going to come into our cat shape. So, I hope you guys all remember this, but we're going to have our hands under our shoulders and our knees under our hips. And I want us to do angry cat. So, we're going to push our back up towards the sky. And then, happy cat, we push our tummies down towards the ground. And angry cat. And happy cat, and then angry cat, happy cat, and we can look round for our hips on one side, look round on the other side, and then I want you to try disco cat. So we're going to push our spine in a big circle, and our head's going to move around as well. So big circle with our back, and then back the other way. Big circle, push around. Good work. All right, and then we want to warm up our wrists. So we're going to first just put our wrists down in lots of different positions. Turn around, turn around. Even you can try the back of your hand. So pick your hand up and make a fist each time and then end up with your fist. Now your hands facing towards you, and we're just going to lean back a little bit. Try and get a nice stretch in there. Okay, and then we're going to put our hands like this, put them down on the ground, and we're going to just move our body in a little circle around one way, do a few loops, and then back the other way. Good. And then I want you to swap your hands over and we'll do the same thing. So we'll go around in a circle one way and then back the other way. Good. And then we're going to try and we're going to put our hands on the ground nice and flat and we're going to try and lift the palm of our hand up but keep our fingers on. And I want us to try that 10 times. So we're going to try and do. One, two, three. Oops. Oh, all right. Sorry about that. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay. Now. I said you might need some cans. So if you've got some cans, or you can do this without cans, or if you've got anything else to hold, what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and hold our arms out straight in front of us for 10 seconds. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, and we're going to try a few different positions with that. So now I want you to see, can you hold them out to the side for 10 seconds. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we're going to try and do that over our head like this 
And when we do that, I want you to make sure you pull your shoulders down as well. So here we go. Lift them up. Pull those shoulders down. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, let's try all those again. So we're going to do arms out in front, arms out to the side, and then arms over our head, okay? We're trying to do it all in a row this time. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And out to the side. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then over our head. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, good work. Now we're going to do a few more stretches, so let's try and do a pike stretch. So I want you to have your legs in front of us, we're going to point our toes, we're going to reach up nice and high, and we're going to reach as far forward as we can, and hold it, and keep reaching forward, keep reaching forward, and then I want you to flex your feet, see if you can reach your toes, if you can't reach your toes, you can just grab onto your legs. We're going to hold that, and then we're going to do that another two times. So here we go. We're going to reach up high first, point our toes, and we're going to reach as far forward as we can, reaching, reaching, reaching. See if you can reach further, 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 and then flex our feet, and we're going to try and grab either our ankles or our toes. Good work, and we're going to try that one more time. So reach up nice and high, point our toes, reach forth, reaching, 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 and then flex our feet. Nice work. All right, and now while we're here, we're going to try some tabletop. So we're going to put our hands down beside us, we're going to put our feet flat on the ground, and we're going to push our hips up nice and high. All right, are you guys all ready? Let's do that all together. And we're going to hold that for 10 seconds as well. So we, here we go, hands down, feet flat on the ground, and push those hips up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice work. All right, now. We're going to try that again. And who thinks that while they do it, they can put one leg out in front of them? We'll give that a go this time, all right? We'll do... So put our hands down, put your feet flat on the ground, and push your hips up nice and high, and then see if you can hold one leg out in front of you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, and now we need to try that with our other leg as well. So, give your wrists a bit of a shake, make sure they're feeling good. Here we go, we're going to do hands down, feet flat on the ground, and push our hips up. And our other leg goes out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice work. Okay, now I'm just going to check that everyone's here. See if I've got any messages from anyone in the chat. No, that's cool. All right, grab a quick drink of water if you want. Okay, now we're ready to start working on some of our handstand stuff. So, well, first we're just going to warm up a little squat. So I want you to stand. Your feet apart, try and get them flat on the ground, and you can just wiggle around in here. And the first thing we're going to have a go at 
is a frog you. So, if you can see here, I've got my elbows on the inside of my knees. I'm going to put my hands flat on the ground, and I'm going to lean and see how the inside of my leg is resting on my elbow. So, we're just going to try and hold that, and then you just keep leaning forwards until your feet come off the ground. So, I want you all to try that at home. So we're going to put our hands down, put our elbows on the inside of our knees, and just try and lean forward and see if you can hold that. Nice work. Who's getting that at home? All right, I want you to try that a couple more times. So I want you to just have a go. So remember, you want to put your hands flat on the ground. So you can start in your squat, hands flat on the ground, your legs go on your, your elbows, and then just see if you can lean forward. Nice work. All right, and I want you all to give that another go. Making sure you've got enough space and you haven't got anything in front of you. If you do, fall over. You don't want anyone to get hurt at home. So always make sure when you're trying any of these exercises that you've got plenty of space to do it. If you don't think you've got enough space, you can just try something else instead while you wait. All right, cool. Now, we are going to try some bunny hops. So what I want you to remember for our bunny hops is we want to try and keep our head in between our arms. And then we're just going to jump our knees up to our tummies. So we're going to be kind of like that upside down. So I want you to try this. We're going to stand on our feet, put our hands by our ears, and we're just going to try and jump up like that. So now I want you to be really careful that you don't fall forwards out of this one. And what you really want to think about for that is make sure you keep your head in between your arms. If you let your head come forwards, that's when you might fall over if you go, whoa. And if, you think, if you're going to fall over, you don't need to jump that high for this. So try not to jump so high. So once again, we're going to put our hands on the ground, put our head in between our arms, and we're going to jump our knees up to our tummy. And if you can, you want to try and point your toes towards the ceiling. So here we go. Let's try a few more of those. Another, a little break and then we'll try another five okay these are really good for us getting really used to putting our weight into our hands and keeping them nice and strong now this time when you do it I want you to really think about pushing through your hands into the ground as much as you can you're almost trying to hold the ground all right let's try five more so here in between your arms and one, two, three, four, and five. Nice work. Okay. Let's see. We have got a couple more things to try out for our handstand. So this time, I want you to try. We're going to try and do a kick up. So. And when we do our kick up, we can try and do a leg switch. Now I know different people will be at different levels, so I'll show you a couple of different ways you can do this. And you can figure out which one's best for you. So, standing up, we can put our hands down on the ground, and we can put one leg in the air, and we can just swap legs. So that's a nice easy one. If you're not very confident with them, you can give that one a go. And if you're feeling a bit better about it, you can go try and go from standing
So from standing, step forward, hands come down, and kick up and swap legs in the air. And try and stand up out of it. So to stand up, I want you to try and really push away from the ground. And so you want to try and keep your arms pinned to your ears the whole time, okay? So I want you guys to just have a little go at those. Let's try and do about 10 of those. So either you can start down here and you can just swap your legs. Or you can try and go from standing, big step for your lunge, hands down, swap your legs, come up. So once again, you don't want to be kicking up too high that you're falling over. We're just getting some good practice at putting some weight into our hands. And make sure you swap which leg you step forward on if you're stepping into it. Okay, I'll give you another little bit to try some more of those. Just see if I've got any chat happening. Okay. Now, we're going to try and do some caterpillars for our handstand. So, we're going to start standing up. Put our hands on the ground and we're going to walk our hands up to our flank and then push our body back up. Okay, I want you to try and do five of those, okay? I'll do them as well. Okay, now, this one, if you've got space, so often a nice clear wall, if you've got space like that, a nice clear wall where there's nothing that you can fall into, we can try doing some handstands against the wall. Okay, if you haven't got any space like that, I want you, you can just practice some more bunny hops or your froggy position, so remember, balancing on your knees. And then after that, we'll have a look at some headstands together, okay? So if you do have some wall, I want you to do it this way. So we're going to put our hands on the ground, walk up. So we'll put our hands on the ground and then walk up, feet up the wall. So we will end up with our belly facing the wall, okay? So you can walk up. Now a couple of things I want you to think about when we're doing this is I want you to keep your head tucked in and I want you to suck your tummy in and we're trying to round our back, okay? So we don't want to be doing pushing our belly forwards. So even without, if you're not on the wall, you can always do this. Let's try and suck your tummy in. So imagine you push on your ribs and you go. So you can practice that. That's the shape we want to be making. Okay, so you can try that against the wall and see how long you can hold it for. You can count for yourself. Just make sure you don't fall out of it. So only hold it until when you start to get tired, you can walk your hands back down. Alright, 
I want you to all try that. And I'll time this time. Let's see if you can hold it for 20 seconds. All right. So ready, put your hands on the ground, walk your feet up the wall and go. That's coming up, that's 10 seconds. Good work if you've stayed up that long. Three seconds, two, one, and come down. Good work. All right. Grab a quick drink of water if you want, and we'll try now a headstand. Now a headstand might be a bit easier for some of you to try, so you can try this without a wall. But once again, make sure you've got plenty of free space that if you do fall out, that you're not going to hit something. And always try and remember to tuck your chin in when you roll out of something. Okay, but so for our headstand, what we want to think about is we want to make a nice triangle between our hands and our head. I don't want you to be on the very top of your head. What you want to do is you can put your forehead on and roll up onto this part. So I'll try and show you from a couple of angles. So I can get my hands. Hands on the ground. And head on. And I'm really trying to make a nice, strong triangle shape. I don't want to put my head in between my hands because that's when I might fall over. All right, once I've got that nice triangle, here I'll try and show you from the side as well. And have straight legs. All right, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk my legs up. And if you want, you can once again, put your knees onto your elbows and then try and lift your hips up. So you can try and balance here first. So if you can get your legs up there, then the next thing is trying to bring your legs up. So you can try and do this with your legs in a straddle or your legs together. So try that on here. And if you want, you can try and lift your legs straight up without going onto your elbows. So you can go hands down, head on the ground, and then All right, good work everyone. I hope you're able to follow along and I hope you can all hear me. If you're having any issues, you can always uh, message us on YouTube. Let us know if you can't hear anything. But cool. All right, then now I just wanna go over some of the shapes we use in tumbling. Um, so, We've got a tuck, hike, and straddle, okay? So we can practice some of those sitting here. So when we do our tuck, we're going to grab our knees, point our toes, tuck into a nice ball. Then our pike is nice straight legs together, pointing our toes, and then our straddle is our legs. Which way do I want to go? This way. Okay. So I'm going to call out a different shape and I want you to try and make that, okay? So, straddle. Hike. Straddle. Tuck. Tuck. Straddle. And pike. And tuck and pike. 
straddle and tuck. Alright, good work. Who managed to follow along and get all of those? Okay. Now, let's just also look at sort of a dish shape. So a dish was very important for our handstands and for tumbling. So what we're going to do is we're going to lie on our back. We're going to put our legs on the ground. And we're just going to lift our shoulders off the ground first. So that's the first part. It's just lifting our shoulders. So we're trying to suck our tummy in. Now the second part is we're going to try and lift our legs up. And we're going to try and bring our hips up a little bit. And we want to try and get rid of this gap. So if you're lying down here, you can probably feel a little gap under you. So when you try and pull down and lift your legs up, see if you can hold that. And then we're going to see if we can lift our shoulders up. Okay, so let's try that at the same time. So here we go. Three, two, one. And we're going to hold that for 10 seconds. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And relax. And we'll try that one again. So here we go. Take a few deep breaths. And then we're going to go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good work. Okay, we're going to try that one more time. Because this is a really important shape for a lot of things. So here we go one more time. And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. Oh, who's feeling that one at home? Okay, now, all right, we're just going to, now this will just depend on how much space you've got. If you've got enough space, I want you to see if you can practice a forwards roll inside, okay? Now, you've got to be careful. If there's anything in the way, I don't want anyone to be kicking furniture or breaking anything in their house. Your parents wouldn't be very happy about that. So, but what we can do is we can start in a little tuck, put our hands on the ground, tuck our chin in, and we want to try and put the top of our shoulder on the ground, not our head, the back of it, okay? And then we're going to push up with our legs to help us roll through. I'm just going to jump back a bit so hopefully I stay in the frame. Okay, depending on how much space you've got, you can try it back or you can come back. Hands down, tuck your chin in and roll. Now remember, when you stand up, you don't want to put your hands on the ground, you want to try and have your hands reaching out in front of you to pull you forward. So we'll try that again. Hands down, tuck your chin in, push, and your hands go in front so you can stand up. Okay, so you can try, practice a few more of those. I just don't know if everyone will have space for that one. So I don't want to spend too long doing that. All right, I want you to all get a drink of water. And then we're going to try some juggling. So I'll give you a minute so you can try and get some juggling balls, if you've got juggling balls. Otherwise, you might have something else that you can use. Anything that's ball-shaped. Uh, if you've got some fruit, you could ask mum and dad that you could use. Don't want to use any soft fruit, though. But maybe they might have some oranges might be okay. Um, but yeah, or like I said, you can get some pairs of socks and I'll show you you just want to make sure that they're get them into a nice ball shape you can have the socks together fold them over and then roll that in and that works as a great little juggling ball if you haven't got anything else okay or you might have some tennis balls So hopefully there's lots of things that you can find at home to use for this. Okay, now, 
I know lots of people might be at different places for how, how good they are at juggling. So, we're just going to start off by doing a rainbow throw. So, when you think about this, you're going to start with the ball out. Your hand's going to scoot down until it comes in front of your belly button and it's going to throw up. up. So, I want you to just think about this your hand movement to start with. So your hand comes down, throws up, down, and up. Okay, then you want to think about how high you're throwing it. So you want to throw it to about eye level. So we're going to go down and up, down and up. Okay, and I want you to think about there's two points that you're throwing to. So your one hand will throw always throw them across to the other side and you always catch down and up. Okay, I know I'm making it look easy, you might be having a bit of a harder time at home, so I want you to just practice this for a little bit. Try and get comfortable with that. Even if you can juggle, it's always if you can juggle three balls, it's always good to start with a bit of one ball just to really get used to it. Okay. Give you another minute to practice that one. Okay, now I'm going to give you a few different throws you can try with one ball. So here's another one. You can just throw it straight up catch it in the same hand. And you can try that in the other hand. So you can throw it straight up. Nice work. Alright, and now we can also pass it straight across. So just from your hand to hand to straight across. And then we can put that together. So you can go up, across, up, across. still drop sometimes. So I want you to practice that. This is makes the shape of a box. So we're trying to make nice straight lines. It's like a box just without the lid at the top at the moment. So just a three-sided box. I imagine you take the lid off the box. So we can go up, across, up, across, up, across. Just keep practicing that one. And then let's practice your rainbow throw a few times. Cool. Alright, so that's just sort of to get us warmed up. But there's something I want to have a look at today with our juggling. It's a bit of a different concept. Uh, so I just, just want to give you all, even those people who are good at juggling, who can juggle three balls, hopefully this will give you something different to work on. So we're going to have a look at what's called a multiplex throw. So that just means we're throwing more than one ball at the same time. So we're going to have two balls in our hand, and we're going to throw it up and try and get them to split. Now, what's really important for this is how we hold the balls in our hands. So when you just try and hold the balls side by side like this, or it could be your socks, okay? And for this one, we're just going to try and throw it straight up, and we want the one on the outside to go straight up, and the one on the inside to travel across to the other hand, okay? So you can try that. So you want to keep your hand nice and flat, and try and get that a nice big split, so you can catch one in each hand. Now make sure you try it in the other hand as well. So if you've been doing your right hand, make sure you swap to your left hand and see if you can get them to split. And you can always alternate. So I'm just going to give you a minute to practice that. So just remembering this is nice and flat. 
try and get them to split. The more that you can get the balls to go away from each other, the easier it will be to catch. So I'll just give you a little bit longer to practice that one. Cool. And you can always pause this video if you want to practice that one a bit more. But we're gonna, I'm going to move on to the next step. So we're going to try a slightly different one. So instead of the inside ball going across, I'm going to try and make the outside ball come over like a big rainbow, like an over-the-top throw to the other side. Now to do that, what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to Flick my wrist a little bit when I throw it. So I'm going to try and flick that one over the top. So now the inside ball will go to the same mat and the outside ball will cross over. So you might notice the inside ball doesn't go very high, the outside one goes quite high. So that's that's what you want. You want to try and get a really clear split. So one goes over the top. Okay, I want to give you another minute to practice that one. So remember. This one is the outside ball goes over the top. Now once again, make sure you're practicing this on both hands. I'll give you another minute to practice that one. Okay, now we're going to try a, one that's a bit harder again. This time, we're going to hold one ball in front of the other. And the difference is this time, we're going to try and catch both balls in the same hand. Now, we still want them to split, so we want one to go a lot higher than the other. So we're going to try and go... And now the reason you want it to go higher is it's going to be a lot easier to catch if you can watch one and catch the other. Now, the way you want to try and catch two balls in one hand is the first ball you want to try and catch with these two fingers, okay? Then you've got this nice little claw for catching the other ball. So you want one ball to go way up one a little bit, catch that first one, and then the second one. Whoosh. Okay, now make sure you practice this one on both sides as well. This one's a bit trickier. Oh. Oh, yes. Takes a little bit of practice to get used to. Oh. Bit harder with the socks. Oh yes. How are you guys going at home? You getting the hang of this? All right. I just want to go back over all of those to make sure you remember the difference. So, inside ball goes across. Outside ball goes straight up. Then you flick your wrist, so the outside ball goes over the top. Flick the wrist, so the outside ball goes over. And 
and then back to the same hand. So you have one in front of the other. So instead of side by side, in front of each other, and click up. And then the other side. Okay, now I'm just going to show you this for those of you who are quite advanced. You're thinking, well, how would I do this when I'm juggling? So, you want to try this with three balls. What we're going to do is, I want you to throw from the ball with one first, and then you're going to throw the two. So, you're going to throw one. Okay, now this is where you're still going to need to be really good at catching two balls in one hand. So, I'll show you again. You're going to throw one first, then while that's in the air, you're going to throw the other two. And so then I'm going to catch, well, this one's in the air. I'm going to throw these two. Blue one, or one will go over. So let's say I do the split across. So the green one will go across. The blue one will come back up. And this first ball will come catch in here, catch in here. So it'll look like this. And on the other side. Now, you can have a play around if you want to throw that first ball all the way over, or a normal rainbow throw. Oh. Okay, so that's how you can practice that with three balls. So you want to practice that for a bit. Um, and then I'll just show you how you can keep that going. Uh, but this is definitely a bit more advanced, so you want to really practice this for a while until you can really get the hang of catching two in one hand. And then you could try this. So throw one first. So what I'm doing there is I'm throwing that first ball before I catch the multiplex again, so I can throw one, throw that back. I know it's a bit confusing, but that's definitely just for the advanced kids. If you're getting the hang of it, you can start playing around with that stuff. So you can always come back and watch this video later. Okay. Now, if you've had enough of juggling, if you've stopped and done some practice by yourself, the last thing we're going to do is we're just going to do a bit of a stretch to cool down, okay? So, we can start off doing our cat stretches again, pushing up the belly to the ground, pushing up the belly to the ground. Then we'll do a stretchy cat. So we want to keep our hips over our knees and walk our hands up and coming down. And you can slide your hands towards and push your armpits towards the ground. And then we can do a little seal. So stretch through. Shoulders down, nice long neck. Alright, we can do a butterfly stretch so we can put our feet together and flat our knees. Try and sit up nice and tall. And then with a butterfly stretch, let's try and reach our nose forward as far as we can. See if you can reach it towards the computer screen, or whatever you're watching it on. Now let's roll our neck out. You can cross your legs now if you want, so we can roll our neck from side to side. And then if you want a bit more stretch, you can try and push your hand down towards the ground. On the other side. 
side. Imagine we're doing a pizza circle, so we're going to put our legs out. We're going to, now first remember we've got to push the dough down, squish the dough down, squish it down, and then no lumps in our dough, and we're going to reach forward, and we're all going to pick something to put on the pizza. So first we've got to put some sauce on, so everyone get a big ladle, spread that out, all over our pizza. And then we'll sprinkle some cheese on first. Uh, it can be uh, dairy free cheese if you don't eat cheese. And then I want you to all think of something you're going to put on the pizza. So you might put some pineapple, or you could put some onions, cut them up nice and fine. Watching out for those fingers, sprinkle them in the middle. Uh, what else would people want to have on their pizza? Maybe if you eat meat, you could put some ham or salami on. If you don't eat meat, um, you could put some mushrooms on. We could all put some mushrooms on. There we go. I hope you've all yelled out what you're going to put on the pizza. And we're going to hold the door closed for 30 seconds. So we're going to hold it nice and tight, nice and tight. Just hold it, stretching, stretching, stretching. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Can you guys all holding in there, holding that pizza nice and close? 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Keep it holding, keep push, 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 push. 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. All right, everyone, you can grab a slice of pizza and eat that. All right, well. I hope you all had fun at our kids circus class. Thanks so much for coming along. And there'll be lots more classes happening online for the circus hut. So thanks very much. Oh, it's Michael. Well, I still am Michael. I hope you had fun and hope to see you next time.